Hey everybody, this is Michael with the Mechatronics channel, and today I'm going to be doing a short video on two instructions uh, that you can use in Studio 5000. The first one is called GSV or Get System Value, and the second is called SSV or Set System Value. So, to use these instructions, I'm online right now, so I'm going to add a rung and I'm going to go to input output and there's GSV so I'm going to add that and I'm going to add another rung and I'm going to put in an SSV instruction so if you don't know what GSV and SSV instructions do basically they allow you to access a different parameters and variables that the controller keeps track of um, and so in this example I'm actually going to be uh, getting the system value of what time the controller thinks that it is and then I'm going to set the time of the controller so that it is actually correct so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you that uh, there is quite a few things to select in here so you can you can see that there are, there's actually quite a few um, parameters that you can select and so the way that it's organized isn't it, you might not know exactly where uh, what you're looking for is and so for that reason I recommend going to instruction help when using this because you're not going to remember what each of those uh, how, how it's all organized so this gives you some general information on how to use the GSV or SSV instruction it's really pretty self-explanatory though but down here at the bottom you can see that there is a GSV slash SSV objects so I'm going to go to that and what I'm trying to do uh, today is I'm trying to get the system time out of the controller so here are the categories uh, that you can of definitions that you can look through, and so you can see there's add-on instruction definitions, there's uh, controller parameters, there's safety parameters, and then here at the bottom there's wall clock time. So that sounds like it might be something that would have to do with the time. So I'm going to select that and see what's in there. So I'm looking through here and I see this date time and it looks like you use an array of dents and it gives you the year month day hour minute second and microsecond so that looks like probably what I want to use for this example so I'm going to uh, exit out of here and I'm going to go to my GSV instruction and if I scroll down to the bottom you can see wall clock time which is what I clicked on and then for attribute name there is date time and that's what we were we saw that had the you know year month day hour minute second microsecond and I have to put this in a destination so I need to make a tag for it I've already made one called date time and if you remember it said that it was an array of seven dents so I need to give it a starting location so I'm going to start it in uh, position zero of that array. So that looks good. As you can see, the controller thinks that it is currently 1998. And so I'm going to set this for the correct time. So I'm going to go to the same place I went to before, wall clock time. I'm going to go to date time. And I'm going to go to another tag I made called current date time. And I need to start that in position zero as well. I'm also going to put a bit on here. Um, two. So that I can toggle it. So those are both happy now. I'm going to put these changes in the controller and go to my controller tags. So if I go here, you can see what value was in the controller. So 
It thinks it's August 1st, 1998 at 4.36 uh, a.m. So that's obviously not correct. So I'm going to go to the tag that I made to put the current date time in. And I put 2020, uh, April 17th. It's... eight o'clock so that's going to be 20 and it's 39 and then I'm going to just leave seconds and microseconds as they are um, so it's running um, all I should have to do is toggle this bit and you should see that 1998 update to 2020 so it is now updated to 2020 and we can see that in date time which is the value that it's pulling from the controller that it is now correct it's uh, april 17th 2020 at 8 39 pm so that's about all you need to know to do something simple like that with uh, the get system value and set system value like I said before probably the the biggest thing to know is that in the instruction help like I said before at the bottom you have the list of all the objects and that's probably going to be the easiest way to find uh, what you want to get the value of or set the value of where that is located in those lists